morning, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at a new cigar. Came out in mid-2019, so it's right on the bubble as far as calling it a new release. I would say it is. This is the Vega Fina 1998. 1998 designates the year Vega Fina started. Now, this is the VF-54. The actual size is six and one-tenth of an inch by 54. Now, probably the reason for that one-tenth of an inch is that this actually uh, designated the size in uh, millimeters. It's 155 millimeters. 54 by 155 millimeters. That's somewhat interesting because the 54 refers to how many 64ths of an inch the diameter is. So you're talking about inches and millimeters. I don't know. All right. So comes in three sizes. A VF 54 and a half by 50 and a VF 52 uh, five and three tenths by 52. Now, as far as the blend, it's an Ecuadorian wrapper, a uh, Hava Indonesian binder, and filler from the Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, and Colombia, made in the Tabacalera de Garcia factory in the Dominican Republic. Mega Fingers saying this is being positioned as a more premium offering from their line. So there is the density. It's a nice rotund little cigar, wouldn't you say? Very basic band, but it does, it actually looks very nice. So let's get right to it. The new Vega Fina 1998 VF 54. Very large. And to me, it plays off bigger than a 54. But uh, we'll go with that. That's what they say it is. Let's try the Zycar on this large cap. That didn't, that wasn't much at all. Okay. It's a good draw though. It's a little bit firm. You see, I took off just so very little, which is okay. Looks nice though. Yeah, that'll be nice. first flavors and I'm about two three minutes in I'll say this when the, at first light up it's a very doughy bread like flavor and the flavors start to develop and I don't think they're finished yet but here initially I've got some orange peel lime brown sugar slightly leathery nutmeg and uh black coffee there's black pepper at about seven so that's how you start and it, 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 there at the last puff to, to tell you about the pepper it started to get a little bit more of that doughy bread note we'll see how that plays out but um, that's how you start Right here at the first third, and the ash is still intact, and it's a very nice looking ash. Now, the flavor notes in this cigar are just not exactly impressing me. The flavors now have changed over to a peach, bread, a lot of bread notes, 
leather, very worn leather, and a very earthy black coffee. I'd call it medium body at this point, and it may move up with all that leather. That leatherness might be a foreshadowing to stronger strength, but right now we'll call it medium. The finish is black coffee and bread. Uh, very ordinary, very uh, almost. Uh, now there are some sweeter notes. The that we the, the notes we started with was what peach. I mean uh, lime and a uh, little brown sugar. Now it's just gone to more of a peach. Solely and uh, a lot of other uh, neutral or dark notes, bread, leather, black coffee, earthy black coffee. Um, it, it's, it's just, you know, it's not hitting on all of my cylinders at all. The first third, I'm rating 84. So we'll have to see how it improves. And hopefully it will. Let's see. Well, here we are at the end of the second third, and look, it's burning very evenly. There's where the ash fell off previously. Now, there's been just the modest, modest amount of improvement. You still got the peach notes, which when I say the peach notes, it's not like mouth-watering, wide-open peach. It's, there's peach notes. Orange peel is back. And it's actually a little more elevated, which, believe it or not, helps. It gives it something. You still got a lot of the leather and uh, the black coffee, the earthy black coffee. That's about what you have. I believe I would stretch it and say it's a low-grade, medium to full body. The finish is unchanged. is still bread and black coffee. See the um, the orange peel notes on the front end cloak or hide those bread notes. You don't really notice them right now. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to modestly raise the score to 85. And we have one third left and we're getting a great burn time out of it. So if this sounds like something you like, you're in for a treat on burn time. Now, folks, remember, I can still use your help if you can help me out with the reviews and securing future cigars. I would appreciate it. Monetary contributions are very much appreciated. Go to below this video in the description. It'll tell you how you can do it. Or you can go straight to the blog and there's a little link on the right side. You can do it. Thank you. So let's see what the final third brings. down to the end so let's wrap it up boy things really morphed here at the end the flavor notes got pretty much very dark very peppery you have a lot of black coffee just hints of leather now a lot of black pepper there are also hints of orange peel and brown sugar, which give it just thimble full of sweetness. The black pepper is probably eight at least, which is a good point to have in a cigar. But without any significant sweetness or anything else going on, it's not going to fly. Finish is unchanged. Medium to full. But this cigar is just, it, it's, it's lacking a lot on a lot of points with me. Uh, I, uh, I do not see this being in the rotation. 
the final third with everything leaving just about, and it dropped it to 82. And uh, it sort of tells the story. I mean, the scoring tells you the story of the cigar. Your overall score is 83.67. Wish I had better news, but this just wasn't anything that I gravitate toward. But, as I always say, if these descriptions and the notes that I describe are something you like, jump on it. So there you have it. The Vega Fina 1998 BF54. 83.67.